More details are pouring in over the tragic loss of singer Liam Payne, including a chilling 911 call, a resurfaced clip where he admits he was fearful of Diddy. Oh, hail. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and yes, this clip... Oh, yeah, make sure you follow him, too. He's pinned down in the description, y'all. Popcorn Planet. It's going viral. Some of you have been sending it to me. We're going to get there in a second. But in no way are we implying Diddy had anything to do with this death. In fact, it doesn't seem that there was anything going on, any shenanigans going on or foul play. Uh, but we are getting details about Liam Payne, and I want to talk about that first because this is a tragic loss. This guy had a kid. Uh, this was a, a very popular singer, part of the band One Direction. Most people know him from mm. that. Uh, but he uh, fell from a hotel balcony several feet up in Buenos Aires. Uh, and now there is a 911 call that's offering more details about what actually happened. Uh, we have the clip right here. I'm going to play it for you. It's in Spanish, but you'll be able to see uh, the translation here as well. Let's look at this clip. Hola, buenos días. Recién llamé que se me acordó. Llamo el Hotel Casa Sur Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. ¿Qué sucede en el lugar, señor? Eh, bueno, tenemos un huésped que está sobrepasado de droga y alcohol. Y bueno, está... Oh, man, they're basically saying that we had a guest that took too many drinks and other things. Cuando está consciente, eh, rompe, está rompiendo toda la habitación. Y bueno, necesitamos que manden a alguien, por favor. Bajo efectos de alcohol y estupefaciente, ¿no, señor? Sí, correcto. Me dijo Costa Rica, ¿a qué altura, señor? Discúlpeme. Sí. Costa Rica 6032. Esto pertenece a Capital, ¿no? Entre Arevalo y Trander. Sí. sí. ¿Hotel, me dice? Eh, ¿Cómo se llama el hotel? Casa Sur Palermo. Y necesitamos que nos envíen alguien urgente porque, bueno, yo no sé si corre riesgo la vida del huésped. Eh, está en una habitación que, que tiene balcón y, bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo... Oh man, the thing that he, he went on the balcony and they're afraid he's going to do something. No, no, it's uh, hace dos o tres días que está acá. Comprendo, no sabría ningún dato porque no pueden ingresar, ¿no? No. Notificamos a lo que es el personal de SAME. Marie, thanks for calling. Sí, lo que yo te pido es que venga alguien urgente. Now, a lot of information coming in there. They uh, know he's destroying the room, but they can't get in. And they also mentioned the balcony, which is kind of weird. How do they, why are they worried about Did something get mentioned through the door? Or he probably threw something off the balcony. A lot of details still coming in, but this is the room. Uh, allegedly, this is the room. And now TMZ, has, or I guess it's New York Post, reporting, showing some images of the destruction from the room. So that is apparently what happened is he was destroying this room. Uh, I can't show you all the paraphernalia that's all over, but there was paraphernalia on the mm. floor. I imagine they'll be all over, uh, you know, breaking down what fingerprints, etc. I, I don't see anybody trying to imply any sort of foul, foul play. But yeah, he was trashing the room before the balcony fall. And the hotel staff clearly was worried, knowing there was a balcony there, that it could get worse. That call was before this happened. So super oh, tragic. Hell. Again, no foul play, I think. But we're still trying to figure out, was this accidental? Did he do it on purpose? Was he on stuff that made him do it? Why did he, where did he get these substances is another big question. Mm. Uh, many outlets trying to figure out and secure the dealer, like who gave this to him. Uh, so there's still a lot of questions regarding that. Um, fans are now also livid at his ex-girlfriend reports coming in from people saying that he was extremely overwhelmed over by legal issues with his ex Maya before his death. And now, uh, one direction fans, uh, are harassing her saying it's her fault. Uh, oh Lord. So people like the fans of him are saying that she drove him crazy. Like she could have potentially drove him to do this. Uh, it's getting pretty ugly there. She, uh, you know, didn't help matters by calling it out and making it a thing on her TikTok literally days ago, uh, talking to the One Direction haters directly, calling them out. Oh, hell. Uh, I hate TikTok. It never plays when you need it to play. But there it is. Uh, she was calling them out saying, you know, you don't know the full story, so you can't chime in on this. And kind of break it down. So I've been seeing ones like this everywhere. Ones, they're called. Honestly, ones that say she needs to keep her uh, his name out of her mouth. She's obsessed, blah, 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 blah. They broke up years ago. 
Um, well, I made a five second TikTok about something he talked about on a podcast. I don't even get on this. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You can have your feelings on this, but this is where it's now getting uglier. More and more posts uh, regarding this issue. Uh, it's just really depressing. It's depressing because this kid had a seven-year-old kid. Uh, and obviously depressing because he was only 31 years old. And on his birthday uh, this past August, he talked about his son who he shares with an ex, a separate ex, Cheryl Cole. Uh, oh, I didn't get Lord. any dad socks yet, but I'm going to speak to my son in a little bit, which I'm really excited about. Bless him. He didn't really ever show his kid, but he always talked to the fans about his kid. Clearly very lo in love with his his boy. He's so big now. He's a big boy and he looks like a mini me as if we need someone any more me in the world. Uh, but uh, clearly very uh, in love with his son. Here we are now. Daddy bless him. Made me want to cry. He was uh, he said something really cute this week because uh, I, I can see a lot of myself in him. Uh, he mm -hmm. was like, oh, we need to, we need here now. Daddy bless him. Made me want to cry. Look, it's awful, man. It's awful. This is going to affect the kid and so many others. This man was way too young. It's so tragic what he got caught up in. <sighs> Addiction really is a is a killer. It's so bad. It's so hard to break down and get out of. And uh, I feel for him. I, I will wait for more information to come in. But this clip is hard to deny. So many of you have been sending it to me. I, again, I don't think there's any connection here personally. But it's just haunting and eerie. To see this clip now, knowing all we did is oh yeah, I posted this one. We look back at Liam and things. He I said. did a video about this one. Let's watch. Anna, thank you. I went over to say hello to P Diddy, and Jay Z was there, and um, Leonardo DiCaprio was sat. Oh, right, I think you've dropped enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think people thought Prince and Brian Ferry was good. <laughs> need to hear about other people in the room. Call the people the stories about. Wish this guy would shut up. It's almost like he's he's saving leo which we're going to talk about in depth later today and tomorrow at uh friday 12 noon eastern on members only section here and on Patreon. oh hell carol Patreon. thank you we're going to talk about diddy and leo you're not going to miss it i'll put more details in the pinned comment in the description so check it out also part two of our interview with dale about leo again you're not going to miss these two we'll talk about this as well i digress let's go back to the clip <laughs> so, i went over and i thought I was trying to think who's the easy target Andy, in this scenario. You. Who's the one that you go to to say the hello? And I'm thinking, I saw him in Get Him to the Greek. I'm going to go over there and say hello to him. So I thought, P. Diddy. Diddy. So I went out to shake his hand. And I shook his hand and he just says, oh, nice to meet you. And he's going, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> But the longest handshake ever. And I'm like, sat there just looking in P. Diddy's eyes like, when is this going to end? <laughs> and then the worst Dear that happened, Lord. The worst that happened, there was a whole thing with Jay-Z and I went to lean in to speak to him. But you, you can't lean in to speak to Jay-Z. You're not allowed to, to lean in. And his bodyguard just, like, shoved me like this. And I went flying across the room. And I was like, right, I'm just going to go and sit over here with Eddie Gold. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me. Thank you. That's enough. Very awkward moment. Whoa. Strange, man. This is strange. Evil laugh. You don't talk to Jay-Z. Uh, fearful of Diddy, when are you going to let go? What's going on? All these things now, knowing what we know, are definitely creepier. There's just a, and then, ha, 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 yeah, everybody seems to know, yeah, Diddy's weird, Diddy's creepy, but you can. Is that Selma Hayek right there? Almost here in innocence here from Liam, where he's just like, are you going to let go? What's going on? Not knowing what we know now through all these law lawsuits, allegedly, where Diddy would be almost can't say the word but you know searching for the right person to see who's down are you oh are hell you, uh dtf uh or can i just D have my way what? that's the things we're lear learning and it does seem like this clip sort of implies he got away thank god to hear that uh but watching this now after knowing of the tragic loss it just it makes the whole thing just a lot more tough to deal with now one last thing to add about as we as tmz has mm. been reporting on this shame on tmz just want to properly call tmz out because we saw this we broke this yesterday um and uh we broke this news while we were live it was happening we got it actually people were telling us rumors before it even went uh, on tmz which is usually calls i'm not trying to take credit for it but i just i say that because we saw it happen live on the show yesterday where as tmz was breaking the news with this very article they showed pictures of his body on the floor it was disgusting absolutely what really disgusting of tmz and there's a lot of outrage online as there should be tmz has now quietly removed those images They're like well we just showed the arm to show you that's his tattoos to confirm it 
That is crazy as hell. They sh oh, we just showed his arm. Are you serious? Holy hell, man. Y'all are outside of your minds. It's like, bro, you don't show anybody's body who's unalive on the floor, even just a part of it. That's disgusting. They they have no shame, TMZ. They're the worst. Uh, and uh, they've now thankfully removed it, uh, but still talking about it in here. Uh, mm. they, TMZ has seen a photo. You showed the whole world the photo showing his body on the deck. It, it, you can clearly see his tattoos and the previous version, which we had in our live out of accident because we didn't know what we were looking at. Um, shame on them. They are, they are disgusting. They have no remorse, no shame. I think legally they did finally remove it because they realized, oh crap, we, we can't show that. Uh, but shame on them. And uh, sending so much love and positivity out to Liam's family, friends. This is just a heartbreaking loss that so many are still very shocked by. Yeah, that is reactions crazy as hell. In. in fact, we just got uh, notice as we're here. Uh, AGT, I guess BG, Britain's Got Talent is now uh, canceled. Now, for those that don't know, they were discovered through, I guess it was the X Factor, Simon's other show. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he's now obviously, in, it's a loss for all these guys. It's a super big loss. This is a really sad day. This was this kid was way too young. I call him a kid. 31 still to me, a kid younger than me. He had so much life left. So many fans out there wanting to support him. And he was clearly struggling behind the scenes. Mm. There are clips of him now talking about how he held it well. I just I send so much love to his family, uh, especially his son. This is a sad day. Uh there's not much else to say about it. Just my Oh my God. Yeah, that is terrible.